massive machines don't roll over paved roads above the Arctic Circle at the start of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline in Dead Horse, Alaska. Here, nature has provided firm, flat roads with a thick layer of permafrost, capable of withstanding millions of pounds of rolling rigs. But as global temperatures rise, scientists are getting more and more concerned about thawing permafrost. Nobody were expected changes. That's why we call permafrost actually uh, permanently frozen ground. Vladimir Romanovsky is a geophysics professor at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, doing research in a state where permafrost layers can be anywhere from a meter to several hundred meters thick. As long as permafrost remains minus eight degrees Celsius, it will remain rock solid, but the clock is ticking. Within, you know, 30, 50 years, it will be maybe minus three instead of minus eight. And that will be a major problem because all engineering solutions were made uh, or, or designed, all engineering structure were designed for much colder permafrost. The damage from thawing permafrost is easy to see. It's not just homes and other structures at risk. Roads, bridges, and pipelines carrying oil and gas could also get swallowed by the earth as permafrost gives up ground. Right now, we're about 35 meters underground. This tunnel is actually a throwback. It was built during the height of the Cold War when the US military wanted to know if they could burrow through frozen ground if they had to. Well, today it's a working lab of sorts, allowing a host of researchers to find out what's happening in this part of the world as the permafrost in the Arctic begins to thaw. That's a big one. Yeah, it looks like a bison, either, either a leg or, or an arm bone. Quentin Gehring is a civil engineer with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, which oversees and maintains the permafrost tunnel. In some ways, it's a mini natural history museum collecting animal bones tens of thousands of years old. Mammoth tusk sticking out here and um, looks like a, a large joint, um, um, either a bison or a mammoth, and also um, another horn down here. But decaying wood, grass, and thick ice wedges are capturing the attention of scientists, studying long-term effects of climate change. As permafrost thaws, it releases more carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere, greenhouse gases blamed for global warming. And we know now that in permafrost, estimates of how much organic material is in permafrost right uh -huh. now, it's about twice more than it is in the atmosphere, twice more. So as the solid turf melts, there is no stopping the greenhouse gases from pouring into the atmosphere, feeding a cycle of warming temperatures. Romanovsky says if left unchecked, the thick permafrost in the Arctic could be nothing but a soggy memory by the end of the century. Sean Calebs, CCTV, Fairbanks, Alaska.